how to create your own Photoshop brushes. But first, why would you want to create your own Photoshop brushes? Creating custom brushes in Photoshop can add a personal touch to your designs and it enhances your workflow. So you can easily apply effects like mist, rain, snow or light effects and all that kind of stuff with just a simple mouse click. Another reason to make custom brushes is to actually sell them. You can create a lot of custom brushes and put them into one pack and sell that to other people. So there are a couple of ways to use custom brushes. You can either use stock photos and turn those into brushes. You can use your own photos if you are a photographer, for instance. Or now we also have AI and with AI, you can also create really cool own custom brushes. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can create custom brushes. It's super easy. It's just a couple of steps that you need to remember. And I'm also going to give you a couple of tips to get the best brushes. Back in Photoshop, let's start with the simple images that I have. So first of all, I'm going to open this photo. This could be a photo from a stock site. It could be generated by AI or it could even be your own photo. So I'm going to create a brush from this smoke effect. Now, first of all, what we need to do here is we need to get rid of the color. So we could either press Ctrl U to bring up the hue and saturation and drop the saturation like that. Or we can add a black and white filter. I would go for black and white filter because that way I can move these sliders and get a nice contrast. So you want to make sure your, your pattern here is good visible, right? So I'm going to increase the cyan here because the photo was more like cyan, just like that. Now, the next step here to do is to make sure the background black is really black and not dark gray. So for this, the best part to do is press Ctrl or Command L to bring up the levels. Here it is. And then if we select the black picker, we can define where our black is. So when I click there, it's making sure the background is black and not dark gray. Now I'm going to press OK. Now you can see here at the border, we get a bit of this smoke effect. So I want to get rid of that because when we keep this in our image, you will see the border when we use this brush. So I'm going to select a normal brush here. Let's just select a general brush, soft round brush. Keep the opacity and flow at 100 and put the background color to black. So when you click on this black, make sure it's total black. And now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm just going to brush these areas around it. Also here, because I don't want to end this here, I want to make sure we have a soft edge around our image and just brush around your whole image to make sure it's soft everywhere and it doesn't get cut off at the edges, just like that. Now we have everything ready. I'm going to select all these layers by holding down shift and selecting the first one and press Ctrl Command E to merge them. And now we need to invert this by pressing Ctrl Command I. And as you can see, the background gets white. And now we can define this as a brush. So make sure your background is totally white. You're going to press Ctrl L and press this again and then click there. So now you're making sure it's white. Now, if you go to edit, we can define this brush. You can see the define brush is here. Define brush preset. If you cannot click this, that means that your image is too big. When we go to image, image size, make sure it's not bigger than 5,000 pixels, because if it's bigger than 5,000 pixels, you cannot make a brush of it. So that's the limit. So keep it at 5000 max. Now I'm going to go here again and then define brush preset. And here I can give it a name like smoke one, press OK. Now let's do one more with a different kind of image. So for instance, if you have a image like this and you want to make a brush out of this, we can also do that. So first of all, let's press Ctrl or Command L to bring up the levels. And now I'm going to select the black picker and click on the black. And you can see it got a lot darker because it was gray. For this kind of images, I wouldn't brush the edges because this is like all over is this image. And when you use a brush like this, you're probably going to apply it to the whole image and not just an area, right? So we made this black and now I'm going to press Ctrl Command I to invert it to make it white. And then I'm going to go to edit define brush preset. And you can see here, I cannot press this 
that's because the image size is too big. Let's see the image size. Here it is, 5184. So if I change this to 5000, then go to edit, define brush preset. Now I can click this. And let's name this snow one, for instance. Now you can also use brushes to images. Like for instance, if you have an image like this, make sure to first crop your image. Let's make it smaller like that. So you don't make a brush from the outer parts, just the image itself, just like that. And you want to make sure to get rid of the colors. So let's press Ctrl U for this one, for instance, and get rid of the saturation. And now I'm going to press Ctrl Command L and pick the black point like that. And then inverse it by pressing Ctrl Command I and then go to Edit, Define, Brush. And let's name this Rose. And now you can see when I open up my brush panel, these brushes are here. So if I make a new layer, let's make it black. And then I'll select one of these brushes. I can apply these. Or maybe the other one. Let's try the other one, the rose. And you can see we cannot create colorful brushes. They are just black and white. And the first one, smoke here. And that's how you make brushes. Now let's export these brushes. So let's go to the brushes again. And you can see here I created these brushes. When I press right mouse, I can export them or I can make a new group. Let's make a group brushes. And now they are in this group, which we just created. And if you, for instance, want to sell your brushes or you want to upload them or send them to someone else, you can just export these brushes. So let's here select these brushes. Export selected brushes. And now you can just export them and they will be in a BR file and that file that can be opened up by someone else and they will import these brushes into their Photoshop. And that's how easy it is to create these brushes. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about Photoshop, make sure to check out one of these videos. If you wanna get my lighting brushes, you can watch this video and I'm giving them my lighting brushes for free. So watch that one or watch another video or watch my courses if you want to get really serious about Photoshop and catch you on the next one.